you got some problems, we'll be there to solve them. We're a squad who can do the job. We're a squad who can do the job. If the monster is in trouble, we'll be there on the double. We're the squad who can do the job. We're the squad who can do the job. The monster mask squad. A bungle at Barks and Stench. Look, Max. I put all my books away in their proper place. Oh, that's great, Goo. It looks much neater here in the Monster Math Lab. But what about this book? Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> And now I see it. <gasps> <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! <gasps> it's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Hi, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Boy! I'm not very cranky today. Huh? But you're always cranky, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Why aren't you cranky? I just got to deliver in my new monster toys, and the toys make me feel kind of warm and fuzzy inside. What do you call that feeling? Um, happy? Happy, yes! What a horrible feeling. Well, how can we help? Can you put the toys away for me so I don't feel any happier? Put toys away? <laughs> well, that sounds easy. <laughs> you might be surprised, Goo. The monster toys I sell in my store are extremely fussy and hard to put away properly. We're on our way! Make it snappy! Hmm. We need to put away some fussy toys. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Yes! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster! Today's secret monster math word is place. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Place! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, squad. Let's go put away some fussy monster toys. Monster marbles? Oh, I love monster marbles. Well, you need to put them away. And you need to put this away. Hey, that toy looks a bit like you, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. And I love being cranky! Oh, ee, my toe! What kind of toy is that? It's a little Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Uh, who would want one of those? Every monster will want one. After all, I'm irresistible. Whoa! I think I just smiled. I gotta get away from these toys before I feel any happier. Um, where do you want us to put your toys, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster? In the right place. Exactly how I put away the others. Okay, squad. Let's start by putting away the monster marbles. Where do they go? Mr. Cranky Pants Monster said to put them away exactly how he put the others away. We probably won't even need to use monster math to do that. Hmm. The other marbles are in containers. So I guess they should go in this container. There! All the marbles are in their containers. And all the other containers are on that shelf, so I'll put this one on the shelf too. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, oh, hey! The monster marbles hopped off the shelf. Whoops, not so easy. Maybe they don't like it there? 
Why won't these monster marbles stay in their place? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Place! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Place! Look! It worked! A monster math monitor! A monster is putting her hat and shoes away. Each must go in their proper place. Does the monster's hat go on the bottom, on the mat? Uh-oh, the hat's not very happy about that. And where do the monster's shoes belong? On top of the hat rack? No, that seems wrong. The shoes go on the bottom and the hat on top. That's their proper place, just a simple swap. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know about place. Yeah, and we know that things can go in different places. Some things go on the top, and some go on the bottom. And since place is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Okay, squad, let's think. Did we put the marbles in the right place? We put the container on the shelf like all the other containers. Hmm, so what's the problem? Help us figure this out, squad. The Monster Math Monitor showed us that different things go in different places. Some go on the top and some go on the bottom. So top and bottom must have something to do with the problem. Hmm, there are two shelves, a top shelf and a bottom shelf. Maybe we put the container on the wrong shelf. It was on the top shelf, but maybe it needs to be on the bottom shelf. But that's not the place where the other containers are. Right, but it's worth a try. <laughs> Missed me! Got me! Hmm, the marbles don't seem happy on the bottom shelf either. Let's take a closer look at the marbles that Mr. Cranky Pants Monster put away. Is there something about the marbles inside these containers that has to do with top and bottom? Oh, oh, I see something. There are big marbles and small marbles. Right, Goo. And do you see how the big and small marbles are placed in the container? Are the big marbles on the top or bottom of the container? Yes, they're on the bottom. And where are the small marbles? On the top? Or bottom? Aha! The top! So, what about these marbles? Are they in the right place? No, they're all over the place. Then we need to put them in their proper place. Big monster marbles on the bottom. Small monster marbles on the top. Ta-da! Squad, thanks. Now, let's put away this Mr. Cranky Pants monster toy. I like being cranky. There, that was easy. Owie, <laughs> my toe. Oh, I don't think the toy likes where you put it, Max. But this looks like its proper place, right beside the others. Oh, what are we doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, place, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, place! Look, a monster math monitor. A cute pet monster on the lawn. That's not the place he belongs. Come inside, that's what you should do. In the house is the place for you. A horrible, rotten monster sees the door open wide and decides to sneak inside. Inside the house? No, that won't do. Out of the house is the place for you. Toodaloo! Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know some more about place. Yeah, the right place can also be in something or out of something. Well then, I know exactly the right place for this cranky toy. And I love being cranky! And I love being... Out of the store!
Oh, who could that be? Ah, uh, Max! I wouldn't open that! Oh, Ow! <laughs> Zor! It's a very bad morning! Oh, oh. Where does this toy go? Oh, there must be something different about how these toys are put away. Do you see anything different? Oh, oh, I see something, Max. An empty package. That's it, Goo. This toy is out of its package. And all the other toys are in their packages. <laughs> I know what to do. I'll put it here. Hey, it's still cranky. <laughs> now the toy is on top of the package, Goo. That's not the right place for it. Hmm. What do you think, Squat? Aha! The toy needs to go in the package. Look! It likes it there. That means we put it in its proper place. Yay! Okay, okay. Scram back to your own place. I'm feeling good and cranky again. <laughs> Monster Math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mr. Cranky Pants Monster put his toys away. And we did it by knowing all about lace. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing makes me cranky! <laughs> <laughs>